Hello. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Christian Hudak, and I serve as the Executive Director of the Dunhuang Foundation. Regardless of where you're joining from this evening, thank you so much for tuning in to what promises to be a very special concert event. Until we can gather safely again, events like this one, which allow us to come together as a community, are critically important, and I am both pleased and thankful that the Dunhuang Foundation can take part in this vital work. While we may think of Dunhuang as a magnificent archaeological site with tremendous art historical importance today, it was a nexus for the transmission of cultures, ideas, religions, and art for nearly a millennium, and it is in that spirit that we gather for tonight's Chamber Concert event. If you want to learn more about the Dunhuang Foundation or donate to our organization, please feel free to visit our website, dunhuangfoundation.us, where you can also uh, sign up for our newsletter for the most up-to-date information uh, for lectures, concerts, and future events. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce my colleague, Julia Grimes, who will provide further information pertaining to tonight's program. Enjoy the rest of your holiday season, and I very much look forward to joining you again in 2021. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Good evening, everyone. My name is Julia Grimes, and I'm the Deputy Director of the Dunhuang Foundation. It is my immense pleasure to welcome you here tonight to our first ever virtual holiday concert, featuring the music of the Silk Roads and presented by the brilliant musicians of the Eurasia Consort. Founded by Tomoko Sukawada and August Dennard in 2013, the Eurasia Consort has given frequent concerts in New York, Seattle, and Houston, and has collaborated with leading musicians from East Asia and the Middle East. Past performances have included the Rubin Museum of Art, the Tenry Institute, and the Gotham Early Music Midtown Concert Series at St. Bartholomew's Church in New York. Trinity Parish Church, the Edmonds Library, and the Gig Harbor History Museum near Seattle, and the Asia Society Texas Center here in Houston. In May 2019, the Eurasia Consort's co-founders received grants from the Dunhuang Foundation to visit the city of Dunhuang in China and study its cave paintings depicting ancient musical instruments, particularly those painted during the Tang Dynasty. Some of the fruits of their research will be on display tonight. It's now my pleasure to introduce the musicians of the Eurasia Consort, who will perform pieces from four distinct places and time periods. Beginning our concert in East Asia with the music of the Tang Dynasty, dating from the 7th to the 10th century CE, we will have Tomoko Sukawada, the Eurasia Consort's co-director on Kugo, Rex Benincasa on percussion, Gamin Kang on piri and mouth organ, and James Nyoraku Schleffer on shakuhachi. Continuing with the music of the Ottoman Empire in the 17th century, we'll have Adam Murder Beerson on the Turkish Oud. We'll then conclude with new music inspired by the Silk Road from the 21st century, and the music of medieval Europe, dating from the 14th and 15th centuries. Both segments will feature August Dennard, the Eurasia Consort's co-director on lutes, and Mio Aoki on recorder. Please note that the Dunhuang Foundation will host a Zoom webinar with all of these talented musicians this coming January 7th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. I'll have further details after the concert concludes. With that, I invite you to sit back and enjoy the Eurasia Consort's performance of the music of the Silk Roads. Thank you.
Thank mm-hmm. you.
Thank you to the musicians of the Eurasia Consort for that fantastic journey through the music of the Silk Roads. We're thrilled to have had the opportunity to present your musical talents here this evening. As I mentioned at the beginning of the night, the Dunhuang Foundation will be hosting a Zoom webinar with the Eurasia Consort musicians on January 7th at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Again, that's Thursday, January 7th, 2021 at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Further information will be forthcoming in our e-newsletter, so please be on the lookout for that. I'd like to conclude this evening's performance by thanking each and every one of you for tuning in tonight, and especially for all of your support of the Dunhuang Foundation and the arts in general during what has been an especially challenging year. We cannot do what we do without you. From the bottom of our hearts, thank you and good night. <laughs>